most of the e-waste management practices in Africa are very crude, exposing the people to harm from exposure to dangerous chemicals. If everyone in the world lived like an average North American, we would need five planets to live on. The idea of such an academy and the theme of this year is global collaborations to enhance local solutions. And together with our sponsor, which is Global Sustainability Initiative, the Dutch and VMP Foundation and UNIDO, we pulled together 18 persons coming from Africa but also from Latin America, right. policy makers, SMEs, bringing on the table their own experience to bring up some smart idea. If we go in that direction, the world is not sustainable. So we need to change the way that we work and live. It is a creeping environmental problem that suddenly overcame the world without noticing. ICT, as I've been mentioned in the morning, has transformed the world to levels unimaginable. But one of the dark sides of ICT is the uncontrollable generation of electronic waste. Recycling industries need to be able to work in a level playing field so that everybody applies to the same rules and also they need to be sure that if they invest anything in recycling solutions that in the long term they also have the income. The problem starts when you incinerate these plastics with brominated flame retardants at a too low temperature and that's where you get few rounds in the oxygen. So especially this practice here of burning these plastics is about the worst thing that you can do because the temperature is not high enough. You often have between 40 and 70 times more gold in a ton of e-waste than in a ton of uh, uh, gold ore that you can mine for example in South Africa. And the same goes for PGMs, so platinum group metals, palladium, rhodium, platinum. Originally the company was doing plastic uh, waste management, waste management in general. What we are trying also to do with the e-waste is to have collection points advantage areas so that people could bring in their e-waste and get a fee for it. Make sure that you make it harder to do the wrong thing than the right thing. You know, it's better to have a small focused bit of regulation that sticks to exactly what you need to do than one that's focused purely on how to um, breed cows and then you weren't quite sure where to put goats, you put them in as well. Those that live well want to continue to live well and even better, and those that are developing, they would like to have the same level of an European or an American. And this is not sustainable. We are very grateful that we have been you know, given the opportunity to participate in this uh, first U.S. Academy, which is being organized in Ghana here at the U.N. University. There is a value in this uh, U.S. Academy and I think that uh, you know, it should be, become a very regular feature as we go on.